Hey guys, Henry here from UniqueDesigns.net and I'm going to take you through a funnel makeover. <laughs> so one of my clients came to me and said, I have a whole bunch of funnels that I need reworked, redesigned. They're just looking blah and I need your your creative flow to get in here and to 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 give my funnels a makeover. So I wanna take you through the process real quick and show you how I went from this funnel you see here to the one that I designed um, a couple days later. So we have the headline here, which is great. Um, the sub headline is a little too big. You remember I, I mentioned you wanna have a good contrast and font size between headline and subhead. So keep that in mind when you're doing your funnels. These two pictures here are kinda of hanging out in no man's land. Um, so I want to, I want to do something with that. Um, this box here is, is just like, just there, you know, there's not much to it. Uh, again, this background is, is pretty bland. It's pretty blah. Um, so we want to make, we want to do something with that. Uh, I looked at this white box here. What I would have done, you know, if I designed this was at least bring this white box full, full page, um, to make it look a little cooler. Uh, more consistent again consistency is key so button size here button size here even the colors are different you want to match all that up nicely so everything has this nice look clean feel from top to bottom font size for the testimonials they kind of run into each other and I wasn't sure if they were actually testimonials right away when I first started I thought it was copy copy text like um, so I was like mm, we gotta figure out figure out what to do there um, this logo is kind of monstrous down here, so I'm like, all right, what do we do with that? So anyway, now I know Kim's not a designer, and that's okay, and that's probably why she reached out and said, I need this, I need this revamped. Um, the other thing I want to point out is font color size, uh, font colors. I mean, <clears throat> so there's a lot going on here. There's there's this orange, there's that orange, there's this gray, you know. I recommend if you're when you're working with fonts, two different colors. That's it. Keep it consistent. Keep it clean. Um, to really just have this consistent polished look. So that's that. So now I took this, studied it, and said, "All right, how can I make it better?" So what I did was we went from this to this. So as you can see. It's a much more polished look, professional look. Um, it has a website look and feel rather than a funnel look and feel, which I feel boosts credibility because I can tell you from my personal experience, when I come across a funnel that looks homemade, I'm very skeptical about putting my credit card information into it. And the more credible the look and look and feel of the design of the funnel um the more confidence it gives me to make a purchase on that funnel page so that is the biggest i think the most important part of funnel design is making sure that your brand's credible and polished and high quality so you'll attract that clientele uh so getting back to the funnel design real quick so again Came up with a really cool background image. Uh, I like the woman who, who's who's picking out the man. Now Kim's target audience is women, so that's hence why I used a woman. Um, we come down here. We got a nice red from the logo. Um, clean copy. Very. I have nice spacage here. I don't even know if that's a word spacage, but the spacing is very very wide so it's easy to read now I kept the testimonials pretty decent size however I broke them up with these lines so now people will know I may even in the future uh, highlight this just to sh just to actually show that it's a testimonial like I said I didn't know they were testimonials at first um, then I brought her pictures down here I would like to see better quality photos here um, however, this is what we had to use, so we made the best of it. Um, have again the call to action button. Have the logo down here, but nice and tight and small. Um, and that's it. So we went from 
this guy, which, you know, probably did the, did the trick, but wasn't doing anything for her brand, to, boom, this polished looking, high end, really sharp looking funnel. So, hope this video served you guys well. I'm always, I'm always in these groups. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, I'm here to help you guys. And that's it for me. Uh, again, follow me on Instagram at unique underscore designs with a Z. I have a lot of marketing tips, strategy, uh, design, uh, great content on that, on that platform. So check me out there. And that's it. So hope you guys have an awesome day. Stay motivated. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.